will now give an introduction to limits of sequences. So it is possible for a sequence to have a limit. A limit of a sequence means that the terms of a sequence a sub n approaches a unique finite number l as n increases. So it's exactly what you would expect a limit to be. We usually write this as the limit as n goes to infinity of a of n equal to l. And let's do a few examples. Let's look at 1 over n squared plus 1. If I start writing out some terms, 1 over 1 squared plus 1 is going to be 1 half. 1 over 2 squared plus 1 is 1 fifth. 1 over 3 squared plus 1 is going to be 1 tenth. 4 squared is going to be 1 seventeenth. And then 5 squared plus 1 is 1 over 26. And we can keep going. You'll notice on all of these that the top is always going to be 1. And the bottom is getting bigger and bigger and bigger. So if I call this sequence a n, the limit as n goes to infinity of a sub n is going to be 1 over a really big number, which is 0. My next one is n minus 1 over n. If I start sticking in numbers, 1 minus 1 over 1 is 0. I then have 2 minus 1 over 2, 3 minus 1 over 3, 4 minus 1 over 4, etc. So we have 4 fifths, 5 sixths, 6 sevenths, etc. You'll notice both the numerator and the denominator are going to increase by 1 each time. We're never going to be bigger than 1, but we are going to get really close. In this case, the limit as n goes to infinity of my sequence is 1. Next, I'm going to look at cosine of n pi. Cosine of pi is negative 1. Cosine of 2 pi, 3 pi, 4 pi, 5 pi, etc. You can see that we're going to alternate between negative 1 and positive 1. So this particular sequence is going to diverge. 